In this session, we're going to look at how we can import a Civil 3D corridor into an InfraWorks model. As you can see, I've got InfraWorks open on my screen. We are looking at a sample model of a portion of 89th Street near Central Park, New York. Let's assume that this model represents a road reconstruction project, and we are going to be reconstructing 89th Street from the intersection here at 2nd Avenue all the way up to the intersection at 3rd Avenue. Let me mention that I have already created a Civil 3D corridor for the road reconstruction area. Just for a second, we'll jump over to Civil 3D. Here we can see the corridor model. This drawing also has a geospatial coordinate system assigned to it. Just for a second, I'm going to go to the Settings tab. I'll right-click on the drawing name and I'll choose Edit Drawing Settings. Right here we can see the coordinate system, New York Natty 3 Long Island U.S. Foot. Since this drawing has a coordinate system assigned, I can drop it right into my InfraWorks model. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. Right here, I want to show you that I have created a top surface for this corridor called 89th Top. We will be importing this surface into InfraWorks to help shape the terrain. Just for a second, I'm going to select the corridor model, and we'll go over to the Properties palette because I want to see the code set style that's assigned. Right here, we can see it's using the All Codes code set style. That is a stock code set style that's included with the Civil 3D Imperial template. The code set style is important because the code set style controls how the corridor is brought into InfraWorks. Let's take a look at that style. Here on the Settings tab, I'm going to open the General category. I'll open up Multipurpose Styles. I'll open up Code Set Style. I will then right-click on All Codes, and I'll choose Edit. From here, I'll open the Link category. This is the trick to moving your corridors into InfraWorks. Any link code that has a render material assigned to it, that code will create a coverage area when the data is brought into InfraWorks. Based on what we're seeing here, I can see my curb link code, utilizing the curb top style, has a render material assigned. Therefore, if this corridor uses the curb link, which it does, it will create coverages for the curb when it gets into InfraWorks. All right, that's the way it works. Let me close this. Knowing that, I'm going to go back over to the InfraWorks model, and then before I import my corridor, I'm going to prepare the model. I'll do that by creating a new proposal. This master proposal represents the original model as it was created from Model Builder. I am going to create a new proposal, and I'll call this 89th Street Improvements, and I'll click OK. Now that I've created the new proposal, I am going to take these GIS roads and break out the portion that is going to be replaced with my corridor. Let me select the edit mode, and then I'll select this GIS road. I'll right-click and choose Split Feature. And we'll pan this over. I'll select this on the other side of the intersection, and I'll split. I'm going to do the same thing for 89th Street. I'll select it and I'll split. Let's go down to the other intersection. We'll do the same thing. I'll grab 3rd Avenue, right click and split. We'll grab 89th Street. As a shortcut, you can select the road and then control click to split it where you click. And then we'll do the same thing here. Let me orbit this around. I'll select 3rd Avenue and I'll control click to do that. Let me select this piece. I'll press delete to remove it. And then I'm going to pan down to the other side here. We'll select this portion of 89th Street, take it out, and then we'll remove this area of 2nd Avenue. Perfect. Now after I drop my corridor model in, I'll be able to select these GIS roads and just drag the grip over to match my corridor geometry. Okay, let me press Escape to deselect. To bring in the corridor, I'm going to open the InfraWorks menu. I will then click the Create menu, and I'll choose Data Sources. In the Data Sources panel, I'm going to open up this menu in the upper left, and I'll choose Autodesk AutoCAD Civil 3D DWG. From here, I'll select the drawing that contains the corridor that we just looked at, and I'll choose Open. InfraWorks will then look at this drawing and determine what it can bring into the model. As you can see, the drawing includes some alignments and an existing ground surface called AIW Existing Ground. This data actually came from the original InfraWorks model. I exported this model into Civil 3D and created the corridor. Therefore, I don't want to bring this data back, so let me remove the checks here. I do want to bring in the 89th top surface, and I want to bring in the corridor coverages from the corridor model. Let me click OK. As you can see, the items display in the Data Sources panel. Let me click to deselect those. We'll take a look at the top surface first. It's coming in configured. I just have to refresh it. I can do that by right-clicking, and I'll choose Refresh. If I zoom in and we orbit the terrain, we can see that it is now shaped to match the top surface. We can see the definition from the curb and gutter and the sidewalk. In fact, if we looked a little closer, we might even see the crown in the road. Now, let's take care of the coverages. I am going to right-click on that item, and I'll choose Refresh. And you can see how the coverages came in with the materials. Now, why is that? I'm going to click Style Rules. And then I will drag this panel out so it's a little bit easier to see. Let me drag this over. 
I will then come down and choose coverage areas and right here we can see the names of all of the styles assigned to the link codes. We can see which ones are enabled. Now my corridor didn't use all of these. By default, even the ones that are unused here are still set to enabled. Doesn't mean I'll see anything because there was no links for those. Let me drag this down. You can see the pave link. That one was enabled, so it came over with the black asphalt material. That being said, now that I've seen some of these things, I'd like to change them maybe. So let's take the pave link, and I'll double click in the style column. And here we can see the material assigned to those coverages. I'm going to remove that material. Let me pull this up so it's a little easier to see. Let's click Add, and we'll select the new material. I'll go to the Material tab, and then I'll choose Roadway. We'll drag this down, and I'm going to choose this one. We'll try Surface Dark Gray Asphalt. I'll click OK. I'll click OK, and then I'll choose Run Rules. And this will reprocess my materials on the coverage areas. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Now that I'm finished, I can close Style Rules. Let's close the Data Sources panel and I can orbit this around. If I hover, you can see where the links generated those coverage areas. All of them have the material assigned. Okay, at this point I need to do a little cleanup. I'll have to grip edit these GIS roads. Maybe I'll have to change the styles. I'll take and create some road striping, maybe insert some cars, but you can see how the corridor model is brought in. Just for a second, let's jump to the home screen. From here I'll open my original model where I did the 89th Street improvements. As you can see, I created a proposal here as well. I'm going to open up the bookmark menu. We'll scroll this down and we'll jump to the area of the 89th Street improvements. If I zoom in, you can see how I finished this up. Generally speaking, I created a new style for these GIS roads and dragged them up such that they matched my coverage areas. I created some FBX objects to represent the striping. If you're wondering how I did this, take a look at YouTube. I've created a video showing how I created the striping. And then if I orbit this up, you can see how I added additional city furniture representing cars and trees and street lights. So when it comes to importing your Civil 3D corridor into InfraWorks, the key is the code set style. You want to make sure that the link codes within the code set style have a render material assigned. If they do, when you import that corridor into InfraWorks, it will create these coverages that you can then assign materials.